So the Arsenal players behind us going through what we're told is a lap of appreciation or a walk of shame, whichever way you want to look at it. A one-all draw at Brighton means they won't finish inside the top four for the third consecutive season. And I guess the question is, Gary, have Arsenal under Unai Emery in the first year post Arsene Wenger improved? Well, um, the very fact that they're not in the elite European competition suggests not. The points total is better, and I do think that he is the man to get Arsenal back amongst it. He's brought discipline into the squad, a better fitness, but the problem that he has, and has always had since he came in the door, is the quality of the squad that he's inherited. They're just not good enough. Is that all over or specific areas? Defensively, they've proved it again. Not able to keep teams out. Lack of mental strengths bearing in mind how often they go away from home and just capitulate, so there's an issue there, of course there is. They have got quality players throughout. The likes of Obama Yang, Lacazette is proven a, a, a top-class player. They've got some young midfielders coming through, Guendouzi, Torreira, but that, that defensive situation has to be resolved because I don't care how good you are going forward, if you haven't got a defence to build a team on, you're never going to compete at a top level. Brighton came here today knowing that they were safe in the Premier League after Cardiff's defeat yet they still battled like their lives depended on it. And nobody more than Shane Duffy, who in that closing 20 minutes was heroic at the back. So many big headers, big blocks, the sort of stuff he absolutely loves. How good was he out there? Uh, he was brilliant. He was everything that we see from him time and time again, to be perfectly honest. And if you put that type of ball in the box, he's going to thrive on it. And Mount Mountain cleared everything, was picking up the flight early, those big one, two, three jumps, and then that massive headers. We're not talking about getting 10, 15 yards. We're talking about him heading about 30 yards and Arsenal having to regroup, start again. His partner as well, last ditch tackles. And as a, as a partnership, brilliant. They really were. They have a way of playing under Chris Shooton that serves that Brighton squad well. Everyone talks about the lack of goals and they need to be more expansive. The reason they're not is because those centre halves would maybe struggle a little bit if they got higher up the pitch with spacing behind. But in terms of seeing out that point today, they were exceptional. And as if Tottenham fans needed another reason to love Chris Hewton, who played and served at that club for so long, his team have secured Spurs Champions League football guaranteed for next season. I was saying pre-game, maybe there's some question marks about his future at Brighton because of the lack of goals, because of the style of play. Do you see any question marks? Do you still think he'll be there at the start of next season? Oh, well, I hope so, because I think there's no better man for the job. But I understand your point in that fans always want to say, well, listen, why can't we score goals? And, and the real fact is he has a template that has enabled this Brighton team to survive two seasons in the Premier League. They can't go toe-to-toe -to -toe in expansive football against anyone in this league because they'll be ripped to pieces. We saw that at home against Bournemouth, of all teams. So they just can't do it. They have a way of playing that suits them, and they executed that really well today. Conceding an early goal, you feared for them, but stayed in the game. That's the key thing. And then ask questions of Arsenal, knowing that if you do ask questions of this fragile Arsenal team, they'll melt. And they did. And they got a brilliant result. All right. Great stuff. As always, that's us done from the Emirates for today. Next Sunday, we will be full on the title race. Liverpool and Manchester City, full coverage of both games. We'll talk to you then.